You do it. You ping pong hate off of one another. Yeah. Unless it's funny. It can be funny hate. Sometimes funny, sometimes funny you hate, good hate. Funny hate <laughs> is just between yourselves. So like Patrice. Like, yeah, Patrice was was one of the best. And funny hate. One of the best <laughs> funny haters. Okay. Okay. You you bring up a good point. Comedic hate is a different kind is of hate. It's a different kind of hate. Yeah. Comedic hate. Right. Rest in peace, Patrice, Patrice O'Neill. Rest in peace. One of the, not one of the, probably the best. Patrice, Patrice sure, used to do, time. I remember when I would talk, and if I was saying something, you would just hear, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? What are you talking about? He's like, ugh. Mm. What? What are you talking about? He's like, just the way you talk bugs me. <laughs> I was like, What? <laughs> your voice everything about your voice just makes me want to punch you in the face <laughs> and I was like what are you talking about he's like ugh, ugh. <laughs> when he would go after you too it, it kind of made you feel good too like if you're a comic especially if you're a comic like uh, I called Opie and Anthony once I was talking to them and Anthony Anthony always has a gun on him. He yeah. carries a gun everywhere. <laughs> like he has a concealed carry permit and shit. And I said to him, I said, do you ever worry that maybe you're putting out this energy and you're manifesting something like some sort of an attack on you yeah. because you're constantly dwelling on it and you always have this gun? And Patrice goes... Joe believe in magic. <laughs> <laughs> Joe believe in conjuring up the world. <laughs> hey, man, a positive energy just starts laughing. See, he's magic. Joe's <laughs> magic. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, mommy. And I'm like, ah. when, when he would go after you, man, it was like you just want to step back and watch. I like, remember he got Bill Burr so mad one time. <laughs> oh, Bill used to get so fucking mad. Beautiful thing about Bill Burr, but we'd be snapping. Bill, Bill was the guy to get mad. Like, it's, it's not funny. <laughs> if you went after him, yeah, it's yes. not, none of it's funny. Y'all yeah. laughing, but he would be like, "Where's the punchline in it?" There's no punchline. Yes. He would get so fucking mad. We, the comedy seller, the days that we had there, man. Bill Burr, Patrice O'Neill, Keith Robinson, Jim Norton, Colin Quinn, myself. Um, when I say we would sit at this table. We would sit at this table for four to five hours and it would be nothing but beautiful trashings <laughs> to one another. When I say they used to give me so much shit, that's probably why it's so hard to bother me now. The trashings that I took from the age 20 to 24 and my young comedic career about how awful I was. I, I had a joke. I had a joke way in the beginning of my career. Because of the times, let me preface this. This was way in the beginning of my career. This was a joke that I had about uh, about little people, midgets at the time. And it's, you know, it was, it was so bad. It was I got robbed by a cross-eyed midget. And the joke was, I didn't know he was robbing me because I was with somebody else. So he was looking at my friend but he was robbing me it was like a play on being cry it was right. very very awful joke i remember telling this joke and a phone book comes flying on the stage <laughs> patrice threw a fucking phone book at me i'm talking this is the way at the boston comedy club it's people in a crowd tiny little place all you heard was and you sit back it hits the floor and I said, yo, what the, what the fuck was that? And Patrice said, read it. There's better material in it than what you're saying now. <laughs> <laughs> Crowd starts laughing. Ugh. He's, ugh. They all, when I say, <laughs> they used to trash me so bad. So bad, man. Uh, give you a legendary Patrice O'Neill story. I caught Patrice jerking off in my house before. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is, I moved to LA. I'm staying in the two bedroom apartment. I just got there. Patrice was coming out. I said, yo, you need to play sex. I got two bedrooms. You can come there. This is my ex-wife at the time. Uh, you know, I come home. It's like afternoon. I was like, Patrice. I'm like, yo, you home? Patrice. Patrice. I go in the back. Open up the door. I said, I had this big ass computer. <laughs> <laughs> All I see is his back hunched over. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like baby oil right here. And I come in, I'm like, yo, what you doing? He's like, yo, get out, get out, get out. Are you jerking off in my house, man? Like, he's, he's so sick. 
He's so uh, fucking sick uh, that he didn't stop. He said, get out, get out, <laughs> get out. <laughs> he was so concerned with finishing that he didn't even break stride. He didn't turn around, acknowledge me nothing. He, get out, get out. You just saw his back hunched. He, put his he, came out, he came out like seven minutes later. He was like, my bad, I didn't know you was coming home. Didn't even acknowledge <laughs> 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 Fucking Patrice, man. I love him to dev. Love him to dev. Yeah, he had the most don't give a fuck of any 100%. comic I ever met. Like 100%. the most. 100%. Yeah. Good and bad, though. Yeah. You know, there was yeah. there was a good to it, and there was also some bad to, you know, a lot of things that didn't happen for Patrice probably could have happened, but I think the, the level of not give a fuck yeah. uh, prevented some of those things. Well, he was almost too authentic. Yes. Like his, like, did you ever see that? Was it Charlie Sheen's roast? Whose roast was it that he did where he just tortured oh everybody God, else that was on the roast and, with him? And then it, he got up there and after like, you, he was you like, motherfuckers on, on my level? Yeah. You're talking <laughs> shit about here? me? Why he, am I here? <laughs> I shouldn't even be here with you guys. Who who the fuck is this bitch? Who is this bitch? <laughs> oh my God. Patrice has so many of those things. Yeah. So many of things. One of one of the best to do it. Uh, if you if you are listening, you're not educated on Patrice O'Neill. Just I, I I asked that you just watch uh, Elephant in the Room, one of his specials. Yeah. some of the some of the funniest shit ever, man. And so insightful. Mm -hmm. He was so wise, very as very to like smart. The, the way people thought and behaved, he would say shit. Like one of the things that he said that I I tell people all the time. It's a it's a brilliant thing that he said. It was um, I forget what controversy it was, but he was on television with some woman. It was saying that you should never tell jokes about certain things, you know, and, and they were they were getting mad at someone. I think it was Opie and Anthony about a joke. And he said, you got to understand that all jokes come from the same place. The mm -hmm. ones you like and the ones you don't mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. The ones that make you laugh and the ones that make you mad. They all come from the same place. Someone's just trying to be funny. Yeah. Like sometimes they just don't work. I, I had a talk. I had a talk with the, the I forgot her name. I, got, I forgot her name, but it was when I was doing all the promo for Upside, and they kept trying to break down, you know, where 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 the jokes come from. You know, Kevin, these uh, insensitive jokes mm. that you told back then. Why? What, what makes you, why would you even say those things? And the hardest thing for me to explain, I was like, do you think people think of jokes and while thinking of them, think that they're not going to be funny. Every, everything that you think of in a joke form, you're thinking of it because you think you're going to get a laugh behind it. Yeah. The gamble is if I get the laugh versus not get the laugh. If yeah. I don't get the laugh, the joke was not funny. If I get a laugh, then I guess I'm on to something. There isn't a bunch of thought that goes into the funny moments that we think may be great bits. Yeah. I wish that I had a more logical answer to put behind it. I said, but I don't, especially at that time in my career. I just thought it would be funny. The same way that some people think certain jokes are funny that aren't funny. It's a thought. Comedians are constantly throwing shit out there. Yeah. You're constantly rolling the dice and throwing shit out there. Half the shit you roll ain't good. Right. It's not going to be good. The other half, maybe all right. Maybe kind of good. But it's all with the intent of entertaining is not with the intent of being malicious it's not with the intent of sparking hatred it's all trying to make you laugh yeah that's it like it's it's literally that simple from a thought within a comedian's mind yeah nothing nothing else and they kept trying to look for this like hard definition of why and i was like i don't have it i don't have the reason why i thought it would be funny and it wasn't that's the downfall that's it 